Hello everyone, welcome to our math channel, Math Bridges, Fun with Math. I have come up with a new learning story math where we try to know the mathematical concepts in the form of stories and about the mathematician too. And this person who is there on the screen, he is Rene Descartes. We have to pronounce it to be as Rene Descartes. And let's see what's the story about him. The name of the story is The Fly on the Ceiling. This book is available online also. If you are interested, you can buy and you can read it. Online also you can read the story. It's about René Descartes. He is a famous French mathematician and a philosopher who invented the branch of mathematics called coordinate geometry, which is also called Cartesian plane. If you observe here, his name René Descartes, the last word C-A-R-T-E-S, but still it's pronounced to be as René Descartes. So, from this itself, it's taken to be as Cartesian plane, which we are calling it to be as coordinate geometry. And he is also famous for the quote, I think, therefore, I am. So, let's get into the story, how he discovered the coordinate geometry, how the fly helped him to discover it. Teaching the concepts using the story method definitely creates interest in the students and they'll be more interested and inclined towards the topic. So before I start coordinate geometry, definitely ask the students, have you ever followed a fly? They'll be surprised. Definitely they'll laugh at the teacher and I'll be asking them to let's dig into the wonderful history of how René Descartes followed the fly. Once upon a time, there lived a famous mathematician named René Descartes in France. It sounds very odd the name, but in France it's perfectly normal. René Descartes, it's pronounced to be as. One day, René Descartes, he was lying on his bed. He could not sleep. He looked at the ceiling and he saw a fly on the ceiling and wondered how he could tell someone its exact position. Is it on the left side, on the right side or in the center? Being a mathematician, he wondered if he could figure out a way where exactly the fly was on the ceiling. So, he started thinking. As his famous quote says, I think, therefore I am. He started thinking for the solution, how he can give the exact location of the fly. Suddenly, he got a brilliant idea. He jumped out of the bed. He went and took a piece of charcoal from the fire and he climbed up the chair. He started drawing the lines on the ceiling. So how he was drawing the lines? Using the charcoal, he started drawing the lines on the complete ceiling. Initially, he started drawing the lines from north wall to the south wall. That means you can see here vertically he started drawing using the charcoal. And the flight was still flying on the ceiling. And next he started drawing it horizontally, the lines, the complete ceiling. He is covering the complete ceiling. And he started writing the numbers from 0 onwards, horizontally here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. And vertically also he started writing the same numbers. After René drew all the lines on the ceiling using the charcoal, he started observing the fly, where it is landing. So he got it out whether he has to start horizontally first or vertically. He decided he'll go horizontally first, then he'll go vertically. So here you can observe the fly is in this position here. So he named it to be as 2 over 5. He's calling 2 to be as the first coordinate and 5 to be as the second coordinate. And he started noting down the movement of the fly wherever it is landing 2 comma 5. The first note what he has done is 2 comma 5. That means 2 over 5. All the night René was observing where the fly was landing on the charcoal lines whatever he has drew it on the ceiling. You can observe here 6 and 3. The meaning is the fly is 6 over 3 up. So 6, 3, these are known as coordinates. 6 is known as the first coordinate and 3 is known as the second coordinate. So now he got the location of the exact location of the fly. After some time, it is on 4, 7. That means the fly is 4 over 7. Here 4, horizontally it is 4. Vertically you can see here it is on 7. 
and the next note what he has noted is 8 comma 1 that means the fly is 8 over 1 up quite interesting right good observation this new discovery enables geometric problems to be solved algebraically and provide geometrical insights to algebra today people still use this Cartesian coordinate system in many different ways one of the use of this coordinate geometry is the excel sheets what we are using you can see the addresses whatever are there for example if you are considering this one d3 you can consider the exact location of this point where we are writing you can say it to be as d3 or f5 or b6 the location you can address in sheet 1 or sheet 2 whatever the excel sheet we are considering coordinate geometry is extensively used in radar map radar hope you all know radar detecting and ranging electromagnetic waves to determine the position of the target we'll be using the coordinate geometry using the coordinates and they find the target where it is being located the screen you are looking at is a grid of thousands of tiny dots called pixels you can see here like this the small dots which we are calling it to be as a pixel like x and y coordinate means x on the x axis like the horizontal one and the y vertical one these tiny dots together will make up the image so coordinate geometry is used in this also locating the latitude and longitude of a particular place to we use coordinate geometry in many ways you can observe here in the maps too where the exact position of a country or a place or a city whatever it is it can be known using coordinate geometry how René Descartes he used the position of the fly using the grid in the same manner on the map also you can locate this now the present GPS system global positioning system whatever we are using like navigating a device to know the exact position of an object we are using the GPS system based on the coordinate geometry itself in the beginning I asked you all have you ever followed a fly maybe not isn't it it's Rene Descartes who followed the fly and who discovered the coordinate geometry for all of us now here is a small activity for you all I have given a horizontal x-axis and y-axis and the numbering also now you locate the exact position of this fly you can follow this fly and you can write the coordinates over here or else you can draw a grid in your book and draw your own fly or any object and write the coordinates if you observe I did not give any negative coordinates over here as it's a starting stage learning stage only the positive coordinates I have given only the first quadrant happy learning to you all hope you like the video thank you for watching the video like share and subscribe to our channel math bridges fun with math and do share it with your friends happy learning to you all